In the name of the Father, the, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. In those days when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Why can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them in in this deserted place. Still he asked them, how many loaves do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They, they ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The three pointers, please. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, when 4,000 people needed to be fed, Jesus first asked, what is available? He did the same on another occasion when wine was needed at a wedding feast. What do we have? Water, bring it up. Number two, this is how Jesus helps us also when we need him. Whatever the problem or trouble is, we must first do what we can. Number three, we are not to sit back and wait for Jesus to come to our help. First, we put in our efforts. Jesus will do the rest. We need to depend on Jesus. But it's another thing to be a parasite, to be too laid back to help ourselves. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. Uh, very practical ang ano no today's uh, three pointers. No, well, of course, every day is uh, practical. Pero itong um, uh, today's um, um, three pointers of Tita Lynn ba na um. We have to do our best first. When we are praying for something, when we are asking for something, no, we have to do our part. Just like what uh, what he did, what he um, this scenario, um, you know, uh, told us, no, uh, this scenario. Na Jesus asked, Jesus asked, uh, what do, how, uh, what do we have for today, or what do we have to feed the four thousand? And then, and then, um, he he said like like, go and and look for for something something like that. So in other words, no. When we ask for something, no. When when we ask for for something, no. Uh, we don't just sit down and uh and pray and pray and pray and and let things happen. Um, in other words, we have also to do our part. We have to do our part. Pray for guidance. What part are we going to do? But um, don't don't be a parasite, or it's not like being parasite. If we depend on on Jesus, no, um, um we depend on 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 uh, on his um um 
on his miracle, we depend on his healing, but we have to do our part also. So that's um the message we we get from from the three pointers. And then another thing, no, um the Jesus primary, this is from, from the reflection, no. Um Jesus' primary mission was a spiritual one. Okay, the mission of Jesus is spiritual one. He he noticed that that already three days the people have been chasing them, like hung the 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 hungry or the hunger for his words, not to listen to him, no. And then, if we think about it, not Jesus as human as he as he is also, no. Uh, he he took pity during that time. No, he took pity of this of these people following him for three days. Um, not enough food, not enough water, and then maybe exhausted. But as human as he is, what about him? See, what about him? So that means that ang ang ano ni Jesus is um uh, um he wants to serve first. Ang concern niya is other people instead of of himself. No, the notice niya well, for three days, sunod na sunod ang mga tao sa kanya. And then concern pa siya. They must be hungry, they, they must be thirsty, they must be they must be tired. Pero sa atin dito ba? What about him? So that's a very very uh, ano um very very good example of uh, being compassionate by and uh, service above all because um, because the uh, the the primary mission of Jesus is spiritual spiritual he has he has to heal he has to preach he has to drive away demons he has to he has to um to um, to introduce introduce to the people the pathway towards salvation something spiritual okay like Jesus physical is um Gin set aside yung physical, pero in that in the uh, in the in this scenario, no, both physical and the spiritual. The the compassion of Jesus. Jesus was moved by by the by the uh, big crowd, like really longing to see him, really longing to hear him. So if if we apply that in our modern life, no, what is our priority? Is it something spiritual? Or is it something material? Are we worried for what what is the next uh, food on the table, or are we are we doing like what is the next step towards our holiness? The choice is ours. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> It's only the first part that I can remember because I was mixed up with the anticipated mass this afternoon that we attended. So I can only remember Father Tito saying that Jesus was moved with pity at the crowd who had been with him for three days and they don't have anything to eat. So it's it's the, the mercy and the compassion of Jesus that moved him to look for bread to feed the 4,000. So uh, Father Tito always talk about compassion, which is once Jesus' compassion, which is if you want to enter into the chaos of the life of a person or the brokenness of the person, that's compassion. And... Uh, Jesus, it's 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 just like us, no? If we want to help a person in need, we won't look at like those beggars on the streets. We don't look look at their their aim because there are some who are just depending on uh, those who will give alms to them, like. They don't work, they don't lift a finger to uplift their poverty, but just beg on the streets. But then if we want to help, we don't look at their their aim 
we look, don't look at their condition in life because you want to help, then you help regardless of what what their purpose in in asking for help whether we 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 say that oh they're like that because they're poor because they don't work and supposedly they still can because they're still so healthy they're still so functional but then when we give don't consider what their condition in life what their purpose in begging but you give because you want to alleviate their condition you want to help from your heart no? so i'll read the the catholic mom keeping our children fed is perhaps the most primal parental responsibility Jesus has had pity on the crowd and explicitly said so. My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way and some of them have come a great distance. They had been with him for three days. Why had we stayed so long, knowing that they did not have enough food for the journey? My guess is they were so drawn to the words of Jesus, so drawn to the person he was, that they could not pull themselves away. Remember the scene in The Chosen MJ, when the people were so many and they were so hungry with what Jesus was saying, with the parables, with the teachings, that they all forgot that they haven't eaten for three days. So, so the people were so drawn to the person that he was, that uh, Jesus was, was talking, that they could not pull themselves away. They could feel his authority, recognize his truth. Some probably even thought, could sense that he was God. They felt compelled to hear as much of his wisdom. If you can you also, can also remember, remember. Uh, Jonah, uh, Jesus as portrayed by Jonathan Romy. Jonathan Romy has really the charisma. You will really be drawn by him. But then I can also sense the sincerity of Jonathan Romy. He really lo looks like Jesus. He right? looks like Jesus and he acts like Jesus. He acts like <laughs> Jesus. He talks like Jesus. He talks like Jesus. It's as if you will really be drawn by him. Uh -oh. You will really be drawn by him. And I don't know. I, I, I can feel, I can feel that he's really just like Jesus. No? Uh -huh. Imagine what it would have been like to be in the presence of Jesus on earth. Can you imagine no? To hear his voice, to see his eyes, and to be immersed in his love. Looking at Jonathan Romy, looking at his eyes, looking at the way he talks, you will really be drawn by him and be convinced. No? It's no wonder they had stayed for three days. They probably never wanted to leave. God knew they needed to eat. He also knew that what would happen if they did not. God is the perfect father. He always knows our needs. Seven loaves was all the bread they had, along with a few fish. We recognize the familiar Eucharistic words that come next. He gave thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples. I remembered one sentence. I think it was the third, third point of Father Tito, that the the multiplication of the bread, the feeding of the four thousand, was is actually the prelude to the Eucharistic uh, mm -hmm. miracle that happens during the breaking mm -hmm. of the bread during the mass. Mm -hmm. It's a prelude to that because he took the bread, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, just like during the mass. The, yeah, he the prayed. I, yeah. I think yeah, he prayed. Oh, he prayed before giving the the bread. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I think there are just like three, you know? three steps, no? He prayed, he took the bread, he broke the bread, then gave it. No? During Ed, the yeah. communion. Hmm. So I just missed on the second point of Father Tito. 4,000 people ate and were satisfied. Seven baskets were left over. God so often, God so often gives us even more than what we need. Today, he continues to feed us in the breaking of the bread. Blessed be God. So we should ponder, God, perfect Father, always gives us what we need. How can we respond to his desire to satisfy us always with the bread of life? We'll pray, Lord, thank you for tenderly caring for all our needs. Please help us to receive from, all, from you all that you want us to give, all that you know we need. Thank you for your love. Amen. 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 Beautiful, no? From Catholic yeah. mom. From Catholic mom. With, with excerpts from The Chosen by Tita Bell. <laughs> because I always tend to go back to that, to that movie. Because... Jonathan Romy really portrays Jesus perfectly. The, the role really, was uh, for him. The, it really yeah. is a perfect fit for him. Oh. So a lot of prayers before they, they start the movie. Yeah. This uh, movie, you know, a lot of prayers. They started with nothing. They started nothing. With, with no fun. And uh -oh. now they, they're having millions I if I remember right, nineteen million dollars, uh -oh. or even more, uh -oh. out That's from the, the kind hearts of people. Of oh, people, uh -oh. and we pray. We will pray that we will also do that for the project of Father Danny. Danny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we all pray together with with the uh, with faith as small as a, uh, even if it's as small as a mustard seed, a mustard everything, seed. everything yeah, will yeah. will be okay. For Father Danny's um, project or um, mission, his uh, mission. So thank you, Bell. So your reflection, re your reflection has uh, three uh, references. <laughs> Father Tito, <laughs> Father Tito, the chosen, the chosen, and Catholic, Catholic mom. mom. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Bell. See how the Holy Spirit works. Yeah, he said all empty, and now <laughs> we're able to give at least. Yeah, epata, epata, epata. I listened to the recording, and it was so nice. Also, you're sharing last night. Uh what about it, Gandhi? Epata, Sikora. Sikora. Yeah, guided by the Holy okay. Spirit, what to say. Um, okay, um, who else has something? Tito Man. Sabi niya, a famous line saying, Nasa tao ang gawa, nasa Dios ang awa. Just like what you said, we have to help ourselves. We have to move our hands in doing what we have to do and God will do the rest. Do your best. And uh, imagine uh, there were 4,000 people, 4,000, and they're hungry. Well, people in the uh, population in the world, billions. And yet the many are hungry. And Jesus did not create us to be hungry. And yet so many food are wasted. Countries, people wasting food. It's supposed to be for the hungry. They're just being thrown away. And 
Jesus also said, the poor you will have always with you. Hindi na mawawala yung mahihirap. Nandiyan na yan. Probably they are the salvation of the rich. They could be the salvation of the poor people. Imagine a world where everybody is rich. Diba? Isipin na lang natin. Lahat tao mayaman, walang mayira. Anong klaseng mundo yan? So, God created some kind of an equity. Ika nga. May mahirap, may mayam. Helping each other to survive. And uh, so as uh, Tita Bell said, this action of Jesus is a uh, portrait, or uh, we can uh, see it in the Eucharist, you know? the breaking of the bread, feeding of the poor, feeding of us for us, food for the soul. Which is very important, more important maybe. is all there. Jesus provide us, provided us before uh, he went for his uh, ascension. No? He never left us. He sent his Holy Spirit. He's not physically present, but we can experience him in the uh, when we hear, when we hear mass, attend mass, is physically present there in the host, the body and blood, the real presence. And it can feed Millions, billions. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Titumani. Yeah. He never left us. Jesus never left us. And he is physically present in the Holy Eucharist. So, to feed our soul. So, it's still a continuation of his uh, spiritual mission. Ba? And um, as we always say, no, and uh, remind each other, no, na through our baptism or because of our baptism, we have this uh, responsibility to continue, to continue the works of Jesus and to share. Amen. 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 Anybody else before the closing? Miga Belen for the for the closing prayer. Okay. Lord God, thank you for the gift of salvation through your son that it made it possible for us to gather in your name today. Help us to be willing to serve others, even when our efforts may go unnoticed. Help us to be gracious and forgiving of others when wrong. Lord, please grant us compassion and humility of heart in your name. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory be to the Glory Father, to the Son, to the, the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, now, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, and ever and shall be, be world without end. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Thank you very Thank you much. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye -bye.